Welcome, my friend. Today, we'll begin with a pranayana practice with a visual meditation, setting the tone for our slow vinyasa yoga flow to feel empowered, which is a fun, creative flow. And then we'll close the practice returning to our pranayama and taking a moment of gratitude, tending to our mind, body, and spirit. I'll join you seated on the mat. We'll join together in a comfy cross-leg seated position, relaxing your hands wherever is comfortable and gently closing your eyes. Go ahead and roll those shoulder heads up and back, lengthening your spine and getting broad across your collarbone. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, feel your body soften. Deep breath in. Exhale, feel yourself arrive here on the mat and body, mind and spirit. We're going to introduce Ujjayi Pranayama, which you may also know as Victorious Breath or Ocean's Breath. This Pranayama practice can calm body and mind, bringing you into the present moment, while also creating heat in your body, preparing us for our flow. So for this pranayama, we'll inhale through our nose and then open our mouth and slowly exhale, making a like sound by creating a constriction in your throat. Good. Now on your next exhale, we'll close your mouth and keep your back of the throat with the same restriction to make that ocean-like sound as you exhale through your nose. And then we'll continue this ujjayi allowing your sweet breath to bring you into this present moment. Feeling the power of your breath, the power of your body. As you continue this breath, travel through your events of this year, your ebbs and flows, all that was and is, the physical, the spiritual, the emotional. You have landed here in this beautiful present moment because of all the work you've done and are doing for yourself. As we flow today, my friend, I want you to use this Ujjayi Pranayama as we hold each pose to build heat from the inside out, to help power the pose and keep you present in your body, further strengthening and empowering your body and mind. Let's bring your hands to your knees. Begin to take big circles with your torso, sinking your breath with the movement. Breathing in as you circle forward and exhaling as you round back. 
switch directions. Feeling your sits bones grounded to the earth and letting the movement travel up from there. Feeling free to exaggerate the movement to really feel it out. Soften and make your way to tabletop pose. On your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hip points. Let's tuck those toes. And we'll press back down through your knuckles and fingertips. Press your hips back in space. Knees will lift. Keep your knees bent as you round out your spine, chin to chest. This is our variation of cat pose for today. Then lower your knees and lift your heart for cow. Beautiful. Okay, we are going to flow between these two variations of cat and cow. Exhaling as you press your hips back. Knees lifting off the ground as you round out your spine. And inhaling as you lower your knees to the mat and lift your heart. Exhale, press back, rounding out. Inhalation, lower your knees, lift your heart. Exhale, press back, shoulder blades widen side to side as you exhale all the air out. Inhalation, lower your knees, lift your heart, shoulder blades squeeze in towards one another. Our last one, exhale, press back, round out. Inhale, lower and lift your heart. We'll hold it here. Crown of head reaches forward to help him lengthen back for a long spine. Lower belly firms up and in. And with toes tucked, we're going to lift and hover your knees off the mat about one to two inches above it, holding it for one smooth, steady, deep breath in. And one long, slow, complete exhalation out your nose, pressing all the air out, navel drawing back to spine. Slowly inhale as you press and lift your hips up to downward facing dog. Exhalation, sink your heels towards the earth. Sternum yearns towards your thighs. Good, we're gonna flow between these two poses. Inhalation, lower your knees towards the mat, hovering one to two inches above it. Hold it, lengthening tailbone back. Crown head reaches forward, smooth, steady breath in. Long, slow, complete exhalation out, pressing all the air out, navel to spine. Slow inhale as you press and lift your hips up, down dog. Exhalation, sinking your heels to the mat, sternum towards your thighs. Last one, inhalation, lower and hover your knees. Smooth, steady breath in as you find your strong, flat back. Long, slow, complete exhale out. Pressing all the air out. Slow inhale as you lift your hips to the sky, down dog. And let's extend your right leg up to the sky. On your exhale, right knee to the outside of your right elbow. We'll pause and inhale to extend three leg dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Pause. Inhalation, three leg dog. Exhale, right knee through center, hug it up and in towards your chest, lift it up, hold it. And inhalation, three-leg dog. We'll bend your knee and stack your hips, foot flexed. That knee lifts up towards the sky, your flex foot is pressing away. Now check in with your palms to ensure weight is evenly distributed. And hold it. Feel good hip opening here. All right, from here, we're going to transition into wild thing. So with control, slowly lower your extended foot back and down to the side. Left palm plants to the mat, right arm reaches up. You'll transition to the outside of your left foot. Once your toes are lowered back, lift your hips towards the sky. As your right fingertips reach back, taking it into a back bend. Smooth, steady breath in. 
Long, slow, complete exhale out as you press and lift your hips up. Good, let's return your right palm to the mat. Pivot on your left foot and extend your right leg up to the sky for a three-leg dog. On your next exhale, we'll step your right foot near your right thumb. We're coming into standing splits. So shift your weight into your right foot, fingertips to the mat in front of you as you extend your left leg up to the sky. Let's go ahead and bend your knee and stack your hips once more. We're taking that feel good hip opening to the left side. And just as we did with the right earlier, let's lift your knee to the sky, that foot flexed, pressing away, really getting into that hip, and then lower your crown ahead towards the earth and yearn your chest towards your standing leg. Good work. We are transitioning into half moon pose. Bring your left fingertips to the mat. Extend your top leg out, stacking your hips. Foot flex, so toes will point to the left side. Heel reaches back to the space behind you. And when you're ready, extend your left fingertips up to the sky. Your gaze can stay towards the ground. Or to challenge your balance, you can take your gaze towards your extended fingertips. Or keep your gaze down, find your dristy, and challenge your balance by, by bringing your right palm to your heart center. Poet pose. Smooth, steady breath in. Long, slow, complete exhalation out your nose. With control, lower your back foot to the mat and we'll fan your arms up coming into peaceful warrior. Breathe in, let's straighten the front leg, reach your fingertips back, get long. And on the exhale, fan your arms forward to frame your front foot. We'll step your back foot to meet the front forward fold. Breathe in, lift halfway. Exhalation, melting chest to thighs. Big revitalizing breath in as you circle your fingertips down around and up. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. Let's bring one palm to your heart center and then the other. Eyes gently close or a soft gaze forward. Nourishing breaths. And just take a moment to feel into your body, into all that is going on. Feeling the effects of our pose so far. Noticing the rhythm of your breath, that rise and fall of your chest and your belly. Feeling your heartbeat. Where do you feel it at the most in your body? The temperature of your body. Feeling and connecting with all that you are. We'll soften your hands at your side. And let's breathe in, just circle your fingertips to the sky. Palms kiss, let's reach back into a back bend before you dive it down through center, forward fold. Breathe and lift halfway, exhalation to release. Hands frame foot to step or hop back to plank pose. Exhalation, lower chaturanga. Big beautiful breath in to upward facing dog. Soft smile upon your face and then press and lift those hips up to downward facing dog. All right, let's take that fun, energizing, strengthening flow to the second side. On your inhale, extend your left leg to the sky. Exhale your left knee to the outside of your left elbow and we'll pause. And inhale, extend three leg dog. Exhale, left knee across your body to your right elbow. We'll pause. Inhalation, extend three leg dog. Exhale, left knee through center, hugging up and in towards your chest. Lift and hold it. And inhalation, three leg dog. Let's bend your knee and stack your hips. Foot flexed. That knee lifts towards the sky and that Flexed foot presses away. Check in with your palms, ensuring weight is evenly distributed. 
breathing as you hold. We're moving into wild things. So with control, slowly lower your extended foot back and down. Right palm plants to the mat, left arm reaches up and back. Once your toes are lowered back, let's press and lift your hips up towards the sky as your left fingertips reach back. Smooth, steady breath in. Long, slow, complete exhale as you press and lift your hips up, reach your fingertips away. Transitioning back to your three-leg dog, left palm to the mat, pivot on the right foot and extend your left leg up to the sky. On your next exhale, we'll step your left foot near your left thumb. Coming into our standing split, so shift your weight into your front foot, fingertips to the mat as you extend your right leg up to the sky. Bend that knee and stack your hips. Let's lift your knee up towards the sky. Foot flex pressing away. As that crown of head lowers closer towards the earth, yearning your chest towards your standing leg. Mm -hmm. Moving into our half moon pose, bring your right fingertips to the mat, extend your top leg out long, stacking your hips, foot is flexed, reach back through your heel, and when you're ready, extend your right fingertips up to the sky. Now explore the different ways you can challenge yourself in this pose if you'd like. Maybe taking gaze towards your extended fingertips or taking poet pose. Smooth, steady breath in. Long, slow, complete exhalation out your nose. Now with control, lower your back foot to the mat, painting your arms up, coming into peaceful warrior. Beautiful. Let's breathe in, straighten that front leg and reach those fingertips back, feeling your body get nice and long. And exhale, fan your arms forward to frame your front foot. Step your back foot to meet the front for forward fold. This time, let's heel toe your feet a little wider than hip distance, keeping a slight bend in your knees. Just allow that upper body to release and weigh heavy. Last opposite elbows. Maybe take a slow, gentle sway side to side. Maybe taking a neck release, shaking your head front to back or side to side. Just doing whatever is calling to your body to help release and let go. We're beginning to unwind and decompress from our flow. soften and release your fingertips to the mat. You'll toe your feet back into hip distance. Breathe in, wave your spine lifting halfway flat back. Exhale, wave your spine down, melting chest to thighs. We'll step back into plank pose, body in one long line. And on your exhale, slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. Let's move into sphinx, slide your palms forward, Bring your elbows in line with your shoulders, lifting your heart, shoulder heads draw back, lengthening tailbone to the space behind you. Soft smile upon that beautiful face of yours. Slide palms under your shoulders. And press yourself back, coming into a wide knees child's pose. A 
let's walk your fingertips to the left side, taking a side body stretch. So fingertips will be off the mat. You can stack your right palm on top of the left as you press through your right side body. Then walk your palms back to center, and then over to the right side. Welcome back to center. Ground your forehead to the earth. Just take these final moments here in child's pose to get exactly what you need in these final moments. slowly roll up and make your way to a comfortable cross-leg seated position. And let's take a twist to the left. Return to center and a twist to the right. Return to center. Relax your hands wherever is comfortable. Eyes gently closed. Roll your shoulder heads up and back, lengthening your spine and getting broad across your collarbone. Deep breath in through your nose. And exhale a sigh out your mouth, releasing any excess energy that we cultivated. Two more breaths just like that. Inhale through your nose. And exhale out your mouth. Letting go. Full deep breath in. And exhale, release. Now let your breath soften and be at its own rhythm. Good. Now let's return to our Ujjayi Pranayama. But rather than focusing on the intention of your breath powering and heating your body, let's embrace the qualities of the pranayama practice that calm the body, calm the mind, bring you into a meditative state here in this present moment, that allow you to get lost in the flow of your breath. Visualizing your breath is like an ocean wave coming into shore. Take a big breath in, circling your fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light. Palms kiss and bring all that love and light down to heart center. In this present peaceful moment, take a moment of gratitude for your journey through this past year. Your journey here on the mat that has led you to this present moment. And to the beauty of the unknown journey that is ahead this next year. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. If you enjoyed today's practice, please share it with a friend. Spread the yoga love. And as always, don't forget to throw the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you don't miss a single practice. Appreciate you, my friend. Have a beautiful rest of the day.
I'll see you again soon.